Hey y'all, welcome to April Diamonds Day 12. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today I wanted to show you around some sky boxes from creators that you may not have heard of or simply didn't know they made sky boxes. So let's get started. So the first place we're gonna check out is Lorison. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name. So Lorison has some smaller sky boxes, in my opinion. They do have some larger ones, but they're rather cozy. So let's check some out. So in my opinion, Lorison has a lot of compact sky boxes, but they're still very nice. So this is a rather small sky box. See, I like sky boxes like this. They have nice built-in closets and things like that because I don't want a space that's super big. This space back here, I would think that you would make like uh, some type of bathroom or something like that, but you really can fix this place up however you want to. This is just a nice, very small sky box where you can put on a small piece of land. So it'll be fairly inexpensive for you to have land in Second Life. Now they also have some sky boxes that are a little larger. It just really is dependent upon your taste and style as far as what you want your home to look like in Second Life. These, these doors can be taken out and interchanged or if you wanted just a wide open floor plan, you probably could just take them out all together. I believe this is like, this could either be a room or a bathroom. So with this space, um, you really could just make it however you want to make it um, as far as where you would like things to go. So I, I do like a more open floor plan skybox. So this would be one that would be on my list if I was skybox shopping. So this is another one of their compact sky boxes. Now I did um, add some honorable mentions at the bottom in the description box, just for some of the places that people normally shop for sky boxes, but I wanted to find some places that were different from the norm. Well, some of the places that are different from the norm. So this is a nice open, another open floor plan. I do like how they have like this separation here. So this could either be the bedroom space or the other space can be the bedroom space. And then this could be like the front area or however you would want to do it. I, like I said, I love a good open floor plan. It's the best way for me to be able to be the most creative. So let's go to the next door. So keeping with the theme of open floor plans for now, I found this place called Zamaya. Now they have one sky box that they currently are selling, but I thought it was so nice. I wanted to just show you guys. So this is a huge open plan sky box. I really, really like this. It, it is an industrial loft type build. I like how the upper area is very, very open. So if you wanted to put up walls or separators, you can really make this space whatever you would want it to be. It could be multiple spaces as well. So I really, really did um, like this skybox and I was very happy that I came across it because there are people who they don't really like the smaller space skyboxes. They want spaces that they can do more with, with still being able to have an open floor plan. And I really like that. I do like the sunken, um, area right here the sunken floor right here it gives a vibe of it could either be a living room space so you could put a kitchen there or if you wanted the bedroom downstairs you could put the bedroom downstairs you could put walls up or glass walls and just kind of put your own feel and your own creativity into this space so i really really like this space these are some other sky boxes that also have open floor plans this is legend so we'll go ahead and check a couple of theirs out so I did want to show you all all of the open floor sky boxes before we went to sky boxes that are a little bit more conventional. So this is a really nice sky box. I actually have this sky box. This space is huge. I really like that they had like this little green house space that you could even make like a dining room or like a little chill area, a little zen yoga area, or you can add more plants to it and make it something very special for you. Or you could take the plants out and make it a completely separate um, thing where it doesn't have any plants in it. I like how even though it is a sky box, they put like the elevator in here to give it the penthouse type feel and you can use any type of surround with this sky box and I like that as well some sky boxes come with surrounds and some don't this one did not 
but I really, really like the open concept. Again, this is given very much so industrial loft. I really like the lights and how they have them in here. It's like a photo studio type feel too. I really, really like this skybox. This is one of my favorite skyboxes from this store. And just a quick side note before we go to look at another skybox, any place can be a skybox. It doesn't have to be um, a actual house. You can have a store as a skybox. It doesn't necessarily have to be a space that's closed in. You can have any type of house in the sky and you can make anything into a house. Second Life grants us the ability to be as creative as we want to be and think outside of the box as much as we want to. So like this is an art gallery, but you can take these seats out and this can be a skybox home for you. They also have a, sec a second section that's over here where if you wanted to take the seating area out of here as well, you could go ahead and make it a room or a bathroom or any type of space that you would want it to be you can section it off any way that you want to so this is just an example of another space that doesn't have to be an actual home type setup it can be an open space like this then you can make it whatever you want to so this is the last skybox that we're going to look at from here this is a very nice penthouse style skybox i love when they come with like the little elevator so you don't feel like you're in a box they kind of make it feel like okay you can go out if you want to even though you can't so this one doesn't have a surround either i do love the views that they have with the natural sky from second life then they have little spaces like this that you can make into whatever you want to you can add doors or not it just I love the fact that they let you be as creative they give you a, a creative space and I really do appreciate that I love the walls the cement walls I love the skylight very beautiful so now we're at Zadig. Now I do love their sky boxes. They have some really affordable sky boxes. And if you're in their group, you do get um, sky boxes at a discounted price. I really like Zadig's textures. They're very rich. They remind me of Ansu textures. Um, I like that their surrounds come with different scenes and then they have like a night surround that'll change everything like nice and dark and moody, very sexy. I really like that. So this room is a decent sized room. The doors, you can either either have them automatic or you can change them so that they stay open and you um, can open and close them manually. And this is another room. This probably would be like a bathroom and then the one down there would be the bedroom. And then this is another um, space that's, it's pretty open plan. However, they do have rooms sectioned off for um, like if you wanted to have an enclosed bedroom or enclosed bathroom or something like that. So this is another one of their larger sky boxes. Again, with the elevator, I really, really like those added touches. This sky box also has multi-scene surrounds as well. Very, very nice. These rooms are huge. So this is like, I, you can make this a bedroom. This can be multiple things if you throw walls up to section it off or separators. This room can be uh, many, many different things. And then this is another large room as well. And their sky boxes are affordable in my opinion. They are pretty affordable compared to other places, how, um, how much they charge for their sky boxes. The textures and the features that you get with their sky boxes are really, really nice for the price. This is a huge sky box. So let's see, how much is this sky box? This sky box is 600 Lindens, super duper cheap for Second Life. One of the things that I really like about Zadig sky boxes is that they really know how to set the mood. All of their sky box arounds come with a rain option and they also come with a dark option, but the scenes are gonna be different. So this is a really nice, very sexy vibe to this space. They have a bathroom where they actually built the bathroom in. I'm pretty sure that you probably can remove some of this stuff. Like if you wanted a different shower or toilet or sink, you probably could remove those items to put your own items in. 
and then this would be a very nice bedroom it's nice and dark if that's the feel and the vibe that you want for your space this is a really really nice option so now we're at difference difference has some really really nice textured sky boxes they come with some of them have open floor plans and then some of them are more closed in so this is one of their open floor plan options very very nice textures very upgraded i really really like it how nice is this a lot of their sky boxes have built-in bathrooms i also love the surround very very nice city vibes it goes perfect with this space And this would be a nice, anything you want it to be. It could be a closet. It could be a bathroom. Very, very nice. I love this sky box. So this is another one of their sky boxes. I'm not sure if the furniture comes with this place, but it might since it rests with um, the sky box. But this is super nice. I love this kitchen. I love this kitchen. Oh, it has animations. So let's see what they have. Had some stuff and let's see. I love it. Very nice. So this is a smaller sky box, but this is perfect if you're not wanting anything too large. This is gonna be very much so perfect for you. I like how they have things, the space is separated out, but it still feels spacious. I love this sliding door. It makes um, for the ability to have a more compact space because the doors don't have to swing in or out. So this is a nice closet. Does it open? Perfect. Very nice closet. I like how they added a lot of things for you so that you don't have to do too much when it comes to setting up the spaces. Very nice. Okay. This is nice. I'm not a fan of marble, um, the marble look, but I do like how they did it in here. So you have the tub and the shower and the toilet. Very nice. So this is another one of their sky boxes. I absolutely love this view. I love these decorations. The textures, I love a good rich texture. Ooh, I really like this. The picture, it, it, it leaved a lot to kind of wonder about how the space looked, but when you're in the space, it's really, really nice. This space is open, but it is like walking space for the most part the way that they have things set up the open space is for walking and i do like that i like that they don't make you have to do too much if you don't want to do too much to your space they kind of give you a layout of how things can be and if you want to add your own furniture then you probably could add your own furniture i'm not sure i don't have any of their sky boxes um, so I don't know how the furniture situation goes with the sky boxes, but I would assume that the furniture can be removed if you want the furniture removed. Beautiful view from up top. What's in here? This is a really nice bedroom with a little desk area built in. Super nice. This is a big room. What's this? Here's a bathroom. This is a big bathroom. His and her sinks. Very nice. Is there anything over here? So this this could be like the oh yeah, the toilet. I like it. This bathroom is huge. What's in here? Okay. Just like a wraparound room. I'm not mad at that. Not mad at that at all. I love the views. This place is beautiful. We're not going to spend too much more time at Difference, so we're on to the next. 
So this is our last skybox destination for today, you guys. So we're at Varanus. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name correctly. They have some really, really nice skyboxes as well. So we'll take a look around. Their skyboxes do vary in size. And that is what I like the most about Varanus. So this is a really nice industrial loft type skybox. Is it Varanus or Varonis? It's, I don't know. I, I apologize if I'm butchering the creator's name, but sometimes these names are a little difficult for me to kind of figure out. So I'm kind of just trying to do the best I can. So it has an open concept and I really do like that. A lot of these sky boxes will have an open concept because they know that people like being able to be creative in Second Life. Beautiful views, you can add your own surround. I like the piping at the top. It's definitely giving industrial loft vibes. And then what is this? So this is, this would be like a bathroom or like a whatever you would want to make it, but it's just an additional walled off door room or room with a door. And then this is the front door, so that doesn't do anything, it's just for views. I do feel like a, a door in these spaces, it really does help you feel not so closed in. And this is another store that does have some affordable sky boxes. And for the quality, the pricing is very, very good. So this is one of their darker themed sky boxes. And this one does come with a balcony. Now you don't have to add a surround if you don't want a surround to your skybox. Second Life skies are amazing, so it's really going to be up to you. So they have a nice like kitchen space. And then this is a nice bathroom. They have a little closet. And then you have the bedroom. And so it's a one bedroom skybox. If you're by yourself, a one bedroom skybox is gonna is gonna get the job done for you. So if you're looking for something larger here, they do have some larger options. So this is, in my opinion, one of their larger skyboxes where you do have multiple rooms that you can play around with and just do a lot of different things with. I love the shape of these rooms as well. They're not just your um, conventional square rooms. They do have angles and different dimensions to them. And I do like that. So they have multiple open spaces for you to do different things with. Um, this one, what's in here? Oh, it say I don't have a key for this door. So let's see if we can pan in and see what's going on. It's a small space. It might be like a bathroom or like a closet or something. Yeah, it's giving closet. Yeah, so it's like a closet type space. So this is one of their larger options um, for sky boxes. I like it. I like these. This open space can be anything. They have a lot of open spaces throughout the house that can be different things and you can set up different spaces for different things. So this is another one of their smaller sky boxes, but it still has so much character to it. You can still do a whole bunch in these spaces. So I do like how they have like cutout spaces for specific things. Like this would be the TV area. So, you know, you might want to like a seating area. This could be a dining room. It all depends on, of course, what you want to do in your space. I love the fireplace on both sides. Love this bathroom. Their bathrooms are always so nice and the, the prim count for their sky boxes, some of them might be a little high and some of them are not so high. It really depends on really what's, what do you consider to be high prim count when it comes to sky boxes. So that's all for today, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed viewing these sky boxes with me. The landmark to these places will be in the description box below, as well as some honorable mention places that you can also shop for sky boxes. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.